Well, this is the end of the 50th uh, anniversary conference of the Institute for Strategic Studies. Uh, and I was at the foundation 50 years ago in 1958 when we had our first conference, which, which was at Oxford. And at that conference, there was nobody except British and Americans, there were, and there were only about 50 of us. At this conference, there have been representatives of, I think, 40 countries. There have been about 400 people. Uh, 50 years ago, we were preoccupied with one single problem, which was the development of nuclear weapons, the danger that they uh, offered to the survival of mankind. And it is interesting that the Institute still holds its, it, its, its publication, Survival. Uh, and we were focused on the problem of the defense of Europe and the Cold War. Uh, at most of the conferences since then, we have focused on what has seemed to be a single major problem in the world. This time we have not. We have not done that indeed for the past four or five years, but there's never been one single major problem. There have been a whole series of interlinking simultaneous problems. And one of our functions, I think, now has been to study not problem by problem, but to see how geostrategically they are connected and the extent to which um, we ourselves may be part of the problem rather than of the solution. It's something which we simply can't escape because so many of the problems of today are caused by the whole of the geopolitical development of the world as a result of uh, the growth of market capitalism, which has broken down all traditional barriers between nations, all traditional ideas, all traditional religions, and has created winners and losers, not simply within countries, but between countries. And this has resulted in conflict situations all over the world, which do share a great deal in common. That is to say that those nations, those countries, and those classes, which are able to get on to where the gravy train of, uh, of, of globalization and of wealth creation, have created standards of living out of the imagination of even their grandfathers, let alone their fathers. But simultaneously, there are still being left behind people stuck in what is basically pre-feudal societies who are very conscious indeed that they are losers. And our problem, the global problem of this today, is to ensure that the losers are brought onto the train rather than that the losers in their desperation and their bitterness claw to pieces the world which we are creating. Because it is so much easier to destroy than it is to create. And the great iconic event of the 21st century, the destruction of the Twin Towers in New York, was as symbolic of that as you could possibly imagine. The power of the losers to destroy the winners is one of the nightmares which haunt us today. And so the problem is not how to defeat the losers, it is to ensure there should be no losers, but we should all win. Thank you very much.